Hi, it's Richard from Micro Repairs. Before I do a quick video, how not to get caught out by fake captain tape and the differences between genuine and non genuine captain tape. This here in my hand is the genuine tape and this is the fake tape. As you can see, they look very similar, so I'll tell them apart. I want you to do this video so I can save you getting caught out like I did buying this counterfeit tape which they sell on eBay. As you can see I bought two lots like an idiot. It's not actually the first time I've been caught out buying this. I bought it from several sellers selling this counterfeit type. And I'm going to show you a test in a way to prove that it's counterfeit and show you the differences between the two and why it's so important to have genuine tape on your board which helps protect it against heat. Please take the time to help support the channel by clicking subscribe and like if you like the video and uh, give you further updates on future videos. These two on the right are the counterfeit ones and as you can see they're very similar they just look like genuine captain tape, same colour. They come like this with this uh, paper line on it. But there's other um, variations of these. They don't all come with this paper line. And as you can see, look, they look very similar to the other one. They're hard to tell apart. To the eye, you wouldn't tell the difference without putting it to the test. And that's basically the only way of uh, telling them apart. And why it's good practice to do this test after purchasing to make sure you haven't been duped into buying counterfeit tape. As you can see here, here's the eBay advert. And heat resistance, 280 Celsius. And it's high temperature. This is uh, the advert for the fake tape. £7.59 each, not a lot, it's quite surprising why they would counterfeit it, but I bought the 50ml roll. This is the genuine, and here's the fake tape. And I'm going to show you the test I do after purchasing it to make sure it's, it's genuine. Just get it out on there, yeah. Right, this, according to the other, has a maximum temperature of 280 Celsius and it's heat resistant. Let's go up to the air station. I'm going to set it just below the maximum temperature, 278, 120 airflow. So, according to the other, this tape should be able to withstand that. See, 278. Let it get to the right temperature. This is the counterfeit tape. As you can see, it's starting to shrink. It's starting to melt. Oh, got a bubble. As you can see, it's absolutely useless at 278 Celsius. This is on your motherboard. You'd probably be burning the motherboard right now. Now I'm going to go ahead and test the genuine tape. And I'm going to show you the total difference between this tape and the other tape and the performance. As you can see, I haven't got a lot left of this. That's why I went ahead and bought some in the first place. Can you set this up? Now I'll go ahead and test the genuine tape. And I'm going to show you the difference and why it's so important you get the right tape. 
I'm going to pump it up to 350 Celsius. Which is way higher than the other one's able to handle. Well, didn't handle. And we'll see how this performs against the other one. It gets a temperature, 350, 120 airflow. And off we go. As you can see, no shrinking like the previous tape. Considering this is a lot higher temperature, it's not even shrinking yet. The other one melted at 278 Celsius. This is 350. Still going, no shrinking. Starting to smoke a bit. Still no shrinking. No change in appearance either. 350. Still on there. Still going. Still no shrinking like that. But I'll show you the difference. Look. This wouldn't stand a chance at this temperature, that tape. And it, there it goes. Total difference. And it's so important because underneath this tape, when you got it on the motherboard, these temperature sensitive ICs, you can do a lot of damage. Not a single mark on it. As you can see, it's really important you do this test. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.